Hi, welcome and grüezi to another FSD beta quick bits video. This is version 10.4, which was just released this past weekend and is still being rolled out. So Tesla is doing a little bit the slower rollout this time after all the issues they had with the previous version. And this is just going to be a couple of um, scenes that I wanted to highlight on version 10.4, especially also comparing to previous versions really trying to figure out, you know, what has improved, how did it improve and so on. So let's go. So the first interesting thing just coming up at the very beginning of the drive here, um, park cars on both sides, people walking the dog. So the car is actually coming to a stop or almost a stop here, handles this great, really slowly passes these uh, people with their dog and then comes to a stop here. You can see to the right and I'm going to just show another picture from a different angle. There is a truck parked and uh, occluding our side to the right so the car cannot really see um, and watch how it's really pulling out slowly confidently but slowly until it can see once it can see it commits and goes so this is really uh, i would say much better it already got much better these type of things with version uh, 10.3 uh, dot one for me but this is now really a good example of uh, how confident a the car is creeping and b how it really tries to make sure it sees so that was a good example next up i want to talk a little bit about phantom braking or mini phantom brakes and here you can see two clips in parallel of the same scene uh, the upper one is uh, 1031 the lower one is 10.4 the latest version and you can see here at the very same spot, both versions slow down. It's kind of difficult to translate this into video, uh, but if you're in the car, it really feels awkward. And the other thing is cars following you don't expect the car in front of it to brake like that for no reason. So in general, in 10.4, this got much better compared to 10.3.1, um, but it's still present, as you could see in this little snippet. In 10.4 the car doesn't slow down that much and I believe in 10.3.1 in that clip I also hit the, the accelerator just to mitigate this but it still happens and I don't know why I couldn't figure out what the trigger could be but it's very consistent in this spot um, and has been in others as well so I don't know if you see something let me know in the comments but I haven't figured out what the trigger could be. Next up is my favorite intersection on my commute. So uh, there's a couple of things to watch here. So the problem is that my car in previous versions has always had trouble selecting the correct lane. And you can see here now, watch also the speed. It doesn't slow down, but watch how uh, the gray car in front of me actually cuts me off. My car is using kind of the left turn only lane. And that's how a lot of human drivers do this as well, because it's so confusing here. And this is a good example of how confusing it can be, right? So 10.4 handled this and it didn't handle it according to traffic law or anything, but it handled it like a human would do it, especially if you're getting cut off from another car, you have to use whatever you have available, right? So, so I would actually call this a success and it's great to see the car being able to handle that now. And I'm going to keep an eye on this, of course, in future drives as well to see if it's consistent or not. But this was actually good to see. Now again, for comparison purposes, here is 10.3.1 uh, on the same spot, on the same intersection. And uh, you can see how it handles this actually differently. A, watch the speed. My car is speeding up here, but then it's slowing down. And that's the one thing that I didn't like, right? And then it tries to jump into that right lane, which was also not correct. So that's why I took over and that's what I usually had to do. Uh, in previous versions most of the time actually because the car tried to jump into the right lane so of course while you cannot compare everything exactly one to one because of different traffic conditions and everything like that it's the best that i have available and i think it just shows that the car seems to be getting better not huge jumps but it does get better and more human i would say the next uh, example i want to show you is unprotected left turn here with uh, oncoming traffic and there is two things one thing i don't like which i haven't seen that much in previous versions watch the steering wheel now it really is all over the place almost right until it kind of makes up its mind what the next action is going to be and that's actually great so it waits for that car to pass and then confidently does the turn and continues into the side street here and while we talk about unprotected left turns i want to show you this one here 
um, because that's also something that the release notes mentioned, and I think also Elon tweeted something about um, left turns having improved. So here we are at the left turn and watch this white car in front. The traffic light turns green, but my car doesn't immediately go, but it waits for like maybe a second or two and then decides to go once it sees that white car doesn't move because it was turning left actually. And I think usually when the traffic light turns green, the car is pretty quick by, you know, going immediately more or less. But here it could clearly, you could clearly see it was waiting, observing, I guess, that other car, what it was doing. And uh, once it was clear that the car wouldn't go, it decided to take the turn. Here a similar situation, again, unprotected left turn. And the light turns green, my car starts to go. And then it could almost tell, you know, it's, it speeds up, slows down. And once it's clear that this other car here turns um, left, which was actually a left turn from the wrong lane, my car decides to go, so that's good. Next up here, you can see my car wants to change lane to the right and then immediately jumps back. Reason? There were stopped cars or almost stopped cars on the right lane. So, you know, this is really cool to see. I mean, the car clearly decided that Yes, I want to change lanes, but not when there is stopped cars in front of me. So it cancelled that lane change and waited for a better opportunity, which comes up now. And we do the switch to the right lane without any problems. Next up is choosing the wrong lane. And this is a spot here where the car always has chosen in the past this left turn only lane. And I'm going to pause the video here. Have a look at the navigation. It basically indicates to take the left lane. And maybe that's what the car has been doing in the past. I don't know. It doesn't do this anymore now in 10.4, which is actually great to see. Uh, I'm going to have to check out a couple of more spots where I had this problem to see if it really is resolved, if this was a one-time kind of thing. But I was really happy. And I'll have to check a couple of other spots. But basically the car needs to turn left only now. So it has to choose the, the left lane for the upcoming left turn here. And I'm just going to let this play out here. Because I think it's another good example of how these left turns ha really have come a long way now. And, and also, you know, here you can see another thing which I think is quite human in a sense. The car is actually moving past the stop line for the traffic light. And that's when the light turns red and the car has to wait. So there's two things here, right? One, the car is now too far out, but it doesn't bother anyone on, other than maybe pedestrians who wanted to cross the street, but there were none, so I didn't have to intervene. So the thing is, it's kind of, kind of good to see um, that the car behaves more and more like a human. The problem is, what if there was now a pedestrian crossing or there was um, not enough way for other cars uh, cross traffic to pass or something like that. The car would have just been basically been the way there and wouldn't know or wouldn't have done anything about it. So that's going to be interesting to see in the future how Tesla is going to train the system to handle these kind of situations. You know, will the car learn to back up if it's safe to do so? Is there other options? So going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, talking about uh, situations where the car has to be able to get itself out of, here is another example I want to show you. Now here we're coming up to a right turn where there is um, a lot of parked cars. It's actually the same intersection that I showed you in the very beginning, just from the other side. So the car just, you know, goes for it. There is this black ram here parked. If there would have been a car um, waiting behind these three parked trucks to the side, which the car, my car, clearly could not see, um, it would have basically just it would have stopped, I'm pretty sure, but would basically just have stayed there and I would have had to take over or the other driver would have had to back out or something like that. So situations like these, there is still a long way to go, I think. So that's it for today. That's what I wanted to show you based on my first couple of drives on FSD Beta 10.4. I hope you liked it. You found it interesting, the comparison with previous versions, etc. And as always, if you have questions, Leave a comment, um, leave a like if you like the content, subscribe if you want to get notified right away when I publish new content. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.